Hello everybody, my name is Frank Hamley. I'm uh, here with my girl uh, Jean Fontignano, she's my roommate. Uh, she's 81 years old. She went in for hip surgery, I mean, I'm sorry, she went in for gallstone bladder surgery on February 28th and wound up breaking her hip in a fall in the hospital. And it, she had her in rehab for three months and they released her. They promised me that she would not come home until she was able to use a walker and stand on her own and she cannot. I had to buy a my the walker. It's from my mom. I can't change the pictures. I can't get you a picture, hon. It was just here. My picture. Yeah, I gotta turn it around. Here she is. Here she lost a lot of weight. As you can see, she had all staples all along her leg here. She doesn't remember anything happening. I bought the wheelchair for her. My mother gave me a walker to try to help her with. I've tried to get her access. When I push her into the bathroom, I have to change her. She's uh, we got a handicap sink now for her, and also a uh, the porta potty for her, and you know so she can have everything to to, to for here so she can hold up herself and uh, grab onto stuff, but I really need to get bars put on this wall and in the tub so she doesn't fall, because she fell backwards already in this damn tub. So I'm, I'm trying to help, I'm trying to help her the best I can, because I'm disabled myself. Ready, you can see I'm out of breath, I got COPD, and I wish anybody out there can help, help us. We got denied by, by Bayada Nursing, out of 28,000 nurses, after an hour interview, they told us, oh, we have no nurses available. And why they did that is, to me, is ridiculous. Then they were going to send the homemaker. Everything was settled with that until the, the one question, do you need a Spanish or English speaking uh, homemaker? So, of course, I, you know, I said English to help Jeannie. She says, oh, I'm sorry, we have no Spanish speaking nurses, uh, um, homemakers, which is a bunch of bull, okay? Um, I called Brian Stack, the senator. He's going to try to help us a little bit. I am so upset about this that they're doing this poor, poor woman. She is losing weight like you wouldn't believe. She went she went in at 130 pounds. And I'll show you a picture of what she looked like before. I can't get that picture, Jeannie, on air again. This is, your phone drives me nuts. I'm trying to get that. <laughs> there it is. This is what she looked like before she went in very vibrant and beautiful she's still beautiful I know her ever since I'm six years old from Woolworths when she worked in the store in the 60s when I was a shoe shine boy she used to sneak me a free cherry coke when I used to buy a 35 cent hamburger and this is what she looks like now the poor woman do you see yourself yeah I really care about her very much and I wish somebody could help us um, I don't know how to use this uh, to to start a GoFundMe page, but um, it's very sad what they're doing to this poor woman. You know, I love, I love, do I love her so much? I don't want nothing to happen to her. Um, she's even friends with an old friend of mine that I found out <laughs> years later. It's a small world. A uh, good friend I know since uh, catechism in uh, fifth grade, and I found out that uh, he's her aunt. <laughs> anyway, um, somebody please help. Um, you know, we're not asking for much. We just want uh, a nurse and uh, somebody for therapy to help her heal. I'm trying to help her walk, but it's, 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 it's not easy. We need two people to hold her up. I can't even get her out to go get her fresh air. Please help us, all right? Thank you so much for listening, and um, God bless you all. And love to everybody, okay?